Hey, what's up, buddy? What's up? What's going on? What's going on? Not much, man. Not much. What's up, bro? What's up? What's up, man? I wanted to see what the situation was. Hold on. No, I made something for you, but I'm going to bring it. So hold on. Okay. So let me go get it. Okay. It's big. Man, I'm becoming nervous. All right, so, so a really good friend of mine made me a logo a little while back. And this just happens to be that logo right here. I actually use this logo for many things. I used it for my first paint set. I used it for my sign at the studio. And it's a logo that I'm gonna use for the rest of my life. But, but Brett, who is one of my closest friends, incredible artist, he made me a new logo that kind of more, more describes me as a person who I am just by looking at the logo. And um, so long story short, when he made my first logo, I started to create something for him back then to show my appreciation. And there it is right there. This painting right here. I started to create this when he made my first logo. And I wanted him to have something that nobody else had something that was, you know, more unique or just something different. Brett, buddy, I hope you like this, pal. I hope you like it. You're a good dude, and I love you. All right. So let's grab this thing here. I got to bring it outside, lock the door, and then carry it down to Brett. I hope he likes it. Brett, I hope you like this. Okay, here we go. Yeah? Holy sh how am I gonna get home? That's what I'm saying. <laughs> I can Alright, so today we got us an 18 by 24 canvas and I've been using these um, often actually and I think most of the videos here are probably gonna have the 18 by 24 canvases. I don't know, they just look better, you know? They look better on film, and uh, I should have known better because that's what Bob said back in the day. They just, they just look better. And uh, who better to listen to than a genius, you know what I mean? Uh, just my thoughts on that one. So 18 by 24 canvas, um, I did, uh, I had some liquid white laying around here. And this is the original liquid white raid about there. Um, there's not much left in there. I think I got some more laying around. And uh, I'm going to go ahead. I'm not going to go ahead. I already did. I could. I just put it on the whole thing. Just a very small amount. Very, very, very small amount. And then I wiped it off with a paper towel. This way, uh, you know, there's no mud making here. Now, I want to show you something that's rather interesting real quick before we go ahead and get started. Um, this here is a Bob Ross. Get the focus on it. This is a Bob Ross four-inch, a four-inch landscape brush. Now, uh, to the best of my knowledge, these never went into production. Um, I, could be, uh, I could be wrong on that, but it was given to me as a gift, which I'm super grateful for. Um, but I, I believe they, were never into, in, they never went into uh, production. I think Bob wanted to paint murals, and um, it's something that just never happened. But at any rate, I have uh, this four inch Bob Ross landscape brush in the packaging. Um, I think I'm gonna get me a little glass case for it because uh, because boy, do I, uh, I love that man and I love his family. And Steve, I hope, you, uh, hope you're having a great day, buddy. I hope you're having a great day and I look forward to talking to you uh, here real soon. Let's go ahead and get started because we are already, yeah, we're moving along, okay. I'm gonna take the old Paintings by Justin two inch brush, which I should have these in stock in about 16 years from now. 
I'm going to start off, we're going to do a fun landscape today. I've got all kinds of colors. I will link them below. I'm feeling very Bob today. So here we go. Here we go. I'm going to take the old trusty palette here with the old two inch brush. And uh, these are the colors. Okay. They are linked below. Um, I'll just run across real quick. Prussian blue. We ha There's some mountain mixture right there. Ooh, what are we doing with that? Um, this is midnight black, uh, burnt dark sienna. Um, this is... Uh, or Van Dyke Brown, Dark Sienna, Sap Green, Cad Yellow, Yellow Ochre, Indian Yellow, Lizard and Crimson, and Titanium White. There we go. Here we go. All right, so I'm going to take the littlest bit without hitting my hand, hopefully. Oh, yeah, well, there you go. You can see it. A little bit of the blue, Prussian blue. I'm going to pat it down right about there on the palette. See? Whoop, whoop. There we go. And I'm going to take me a little bit of the black. I like that. A little bit of the um, Midnight Black there. And let's see what that gives us here. So I'm going to go right up here to the canvas now. All right. Yeah. And I'm going to start here in the corner. And I'm going to hit this corner as well. And I'm just going to work it. Work it back and forth like this. Now, it's a little bit more work. It's a little bit more work um, putting this on like this. you got to kind of uh, grind it a little bit. That's because I wiped off a lot of the liquid white that was on here. It just makes for a better, you know, better experience, in my opinion. Now, I'm going to set the old palette down because, truth be told, I suck at holding it. Or is it, do I just suck, or I don't know, do I just suck at multitasking? I, th I, think that's, uh, I think that's what it is. Now, as you, most of you know, I have paper towels, and I like to wipe my brush off on those paper towels. Oh, it's raining outside. Give it a good old wiping, and then we're going to go back up to the canvas here. And then I'm going to slowly work my way <clears throat> down, just like this. All right. These little X patterns are probably the best, you know, in my opinion, <clears throat> excuse me, the best uh, way to do it. Now, don't worry about these little uh, weird fuzzy things and hairs and, and all that. Not a big deal. One of the things that I try to do, or don't worry about the stretcher bar marks here, one of the things I do is I try to like blend as I'm going down, which is just extra, extra brush strokes as I'm going down. All right. So I'm going to come over here to the old paper towel and I'm going to, I'm going to do some circles on it. You can grab a clean brush for this. I, I wipe mine off. I'm lazy. <laughs> I'm lazy. All right, now I'm gonna go, I'm gonna start maybe here and I'm gonna just do some more of these little X strokes. You could do circles, but I don't recommend that. Sometimes I do them. So I'm just kind of working this color. Go up here, steal some of the dark. Now I'll do some circles. See, just gives it a variety. All right. Something like this. Just working my way around, see? Just work your way around. But seriously, the biggest, the biggest thing that I will say to you is this. Do not, do not let this ruin your day. Let this improve your day. It's very possible to do that. I'm gonna leave this little white spot here in the middle because I have an idea, all right? And yes, we're going to put some water in here. So let me do this. Let me, I'm just, uh, I just grabbed some of the same blue and black color here on the brush. And just to make it a little easier, I'm just going to go like this, side to side. Super easy. Just work it in. Maybe this is going to go around. It's going to wrap around. Who knows? Maybe it's going to wrap around like that. I have no idea. All right. I'm going to get just you know, more of that color. It's always good to darken up the uh, corners. Okay. Maybe I should use the palette in the second camera angle because Lord knows you don't want to just see my face. I'm going to take a little bit of black right here. All right, see that? Nice glare. Still haven't moved that light, and that's okay. Back up here. Oh, nice and dark. See that? Just darkening the edges up. All right. And while we have that black going on the brush, maybe we can do this. Maybe we can darken this guy here. Put a little up on the top. See? All right, just this is just straight ivory black. No special in uh, ingredients here. All right, now set the palette down. Take me a drink. Ah, 
yes, Red Bull. Red Bull, please. Can you send me a few cases? Cranberry, preferably, because I can't find it anywhere. And uh, Lord knows I love cranberry. All right, I'm gonna take a paper towel here and I'm gonna wipe this off, <clears throat> just like that. Wipe it off, bada bing, bada boom. Now I just wanna blend in, see the dark we put up here? Let's just blend it in. Blend it in. All right, blend it like you own it. You tell it what to do. See, you can do circles are actually really good for this right now. What's that called, a vignetta, a, vign a vig vignet vignetti? I don't know how to pronounce it. It's called a vignetta. I'm just, sometimes I joke I have to, uh, I have to really pay attention because it's a vignetta, vignetta, I hope that's right. Anyways, that's what you get by putting the dark color here. And let's just do that. Now, I don't wanna to spend too much time on the sky, but I try to go a little bit slower I try to go a little bit slower to, you know, to benefit, to benefit you guys, so you can, you know, move along with me and all those things. All right, all right. Yeah, it's it's uh, still raining out. All right, wipe this brush off real quick, and don't be particular. Don't come back and just, you know, try to keep blending it and doing all this stuff. Just give it a nice little blend. <clears throat> give it a wrap. Call it a day. All right. Now let me grab me a. I'm gonna get my favorite uh, number three, number three fan brush. Number three is all me. Number three fan brush right here. Make it simple. We're gonna make this easy. Here we have some clouds. <laughs> these are this is titanium white. These these are clouds. They're just on the palette at this point. Um, hmm. Let's take a little crimson. Crimson on the brush. And let's just put it here. Maybe let's just you know what? scoop it up. All right, oh, there we go. Big old pile of paint I got here. <laughs> nice, nice color. See that? The clouds are on the palette. <laughs> That's so, sometimes I wonder if I'm all right. All right, here we go. On the fan brush, look at that shot. <whistles> Hello, fan brush. Let's just put a big cloud right about, I see a design already, see? I'm just gonna go do little circles with the corner of the brush. And then here's what I do. I come back to the palette and I do this. Let me show you a little tip. Wipe the brush on the palette. Wipe it and then get some fresh paint. It's not like cleaning your brush off, but you're like kind of wiping the stuff off. All right, let's go back up here. And I'm just gonna follow my little design that I have, which is whatever. <laughs> it is what it is. This is a, it's gonna be a goofy looking cloud. Now I'm just coming down here. I'm just getting more white paint here. All right, something like this. Now we have to have him come over here as well. And just use the corner, just use the corner. You know, just use it, use it. Don't abuse it, <laughs> use it. And don't lose it, whatever you do. That's a weird looking cloud. All right, wipe it off, the old palette trick. Wipe it off, get some more paint. Now I am not gonna sit here and, and make all kinds of crazy clouds all day. All right, I'm just going to, got a thing going in there. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna have this go off the canvas like this, all right? Just cause I feel like it'll look right and then maybe right there. Minus the sound effects because we don't need those. All right, that's a handy dandy looking little cloud right there. Okay, here's my uh, paper towels. Always wipe off the brush unless you're gonna use it for, you know, something with this, you know, same color. All right, set that down and end. You know, I think one of the things is I gotta stop I gotta stop saying, okay, set that down, pick that up, set that down. Like you don't I don't think you really care what I'm setting down and what I'm picking up, right? I'm gonna take the two inch that we use to make the sky so far the dirty one. I'm gonna give it a quick wiping real quick. And I'm gonna see if I can just use this to blend it. So I'm gonna use I'm using really, you know the top portion of the brush, and I'm doing these little circles. The bottom of the brush isn't touching the canvas, just the top, all right? Now you gotta be careful because if your brush is dirty, dirty, mine is borderline at this point. If yours is dirty, you're gonna get all kinds of, uh, your clouds aren't gonna look too good is what I'm trying to tell you. And that's okay because that's what I'm trying to say here. It doesn't even matter what they look like. 
you know, make yourself have fun while you're making them. All right, so here we go. I'm just grinding away. All right, let's go over here. Let's just tap a few of these guys. See, I'm just softening their life nicely, carefully, whatever. Not carefully, doesn't matter. <laughs> All right, um, back to the paper towel. Let's give it a quick wipe real quick. I just don't recommend cleaning your uh, brushes with paint thinner. I try, I do that. I try not to though. All right, now we're gonna same brush, same brush here. We're gonna just, <clears throat> we're gonna, we're gonna lift them. All right, put them in a good mood. Lift them. All right, and if you guys watch Bob, you're gonna know about these stringy things. <clears throat> Excuse me. You're gonna know about them. He tells you, don't worry. You know, don't worry about them. And I'm gonna tell you, that man is correct. He is correct. See, I'm just giving him a nice little lift, giving him a face lift on there. All right, and then I'm going to swat them back. You see something like this right here? Look, if you really wanted to, done. Out of my life, no problem. I'm going to give him a nice swat and back and forth. Swat it back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Now, I, like I said, you can come up here if you want, and you can do these. You know, if you got the little stringy thingies. See, I could just go like that, distort them. <clears throat> and uh, lift them, okay, and that's that. Now I want to show you one thing, I want to show you one thing real quick here. Yeah, we got to move it, got to move it, get some more, uh, I'm going to get some more white paint here, just want to show you one thing. All right, that's going to go there, so I just want to do, I want to put like a little layer here, just a little baby cloud to show you. You could put a little layer in, see? That was probably the worst example ever, and that's okay because I think you get the point. So I'm gonna just take the uh, the two inch brush here, wipe it off, I always wipe it off again, and go back, go back up here and boom. Give this guy a little blend and lift him up. All right, you could put layers. Do the top one first and then the bottom, top, bottom. All right, never do the bottom and the top. All right, paper towels getting set down. <clears throat> Excuse me. We're gonna grab the, go ahead and grab your knife. Grab your knife. And we're gonna take some mountain mixture because I just happen to love that color a lot. Thank you, Bob. Mountain mixture. He did all the work for us. All right, and I'm just gonna plop that right there. What the heck? Oh man, better be careful. <laughs> Can't be talking like him. No, I'm seriously feeling, uh, I'm uh, I, I'm indebted to I'm indebted to him, and I don't always make videos like this, um, but I am indebted to to that man. And uh, Steve is uh, my good friend now. Palette knife, little roll, pull it flat, cut across. Yeah, you know the deal. You know the deal. And uh, let's make a standard mountain, a standard basic mountain. Here we go. We'll call this beginner mountain. Watch this. He's going to come up this way. He's going to come down. <clears throat> He's going to bounce there. <clears throat> Lord, excuse me. Get more out of the mixture, mountain mixture. Just need a little bit more paint there. All right. So he's got a little, look, a little bump. All right. Let me fix that. Room. All right. And this guy's going to come this way. I'm just getting more of the, uh, the mountain mixture there. All right, and then I'm just gonna put a little, you know, a little something right, right about there, I don't know, a little, you know, a little bump, a little peak or whatever. Come up here and, you know, make little ridges and little, you know, little things in there, okay? And then this guy's gonna go off the canvas that way. Okay. And I'm going to set the uh, I'm going to set the old palette down. <clears throat> All right, and I'm going to grab uh, I'm just going to grab the two inch brush here that we already uh, already used all day long. All right, and I'm just going to I'm going to pull this out, and because that you know that liquid uh, liquid white is on there, it really it just helps it so much. It helps it. See, pull it nice like this. And if you, if you go crazy and you pull it too much, 
you know, the mountain's gonna get, you know, massively big and it's gonna start growing. It's gonna start growing on you. All right, so I just wanna pull this down. All right, like this. We can make that disappear. See, I set the brush on an angle and I push and it makes the chisel on the, uh, the bristles come out. All right, I'm just gonna pull that there. And I keep wiping this off on the paper towel. And I'm just gonna go like this. I'm gonna soften this whole thing real quick. I'm barely touching the canvas, softening it. Okay, it just kind of goes into the mist. See, I can do little circles right here. All right, and I can do the same thing here too. Little baby circles. It just kind of mystifies the base of the, uh, the mountain. Well, that mountain's having a crooked kind of day, isn't he? We better uh, fix him with some highlight in his life. All right, here we go. <clears throat> All right, let's grab our palette knife here, and uh, we're gonna keep this basic. I was gonna do like a, uh, I was gonna do like a brown. I can still do a brown mountain a little bit. I'm gonna take, uh, I'm gonna take some blah, Van Dyke brown. All right, Van Dyke brown, a little bit of sienna in there. Van Dyke Brown, Dark Sienna, touch of white in there. I'm gonna try to do the uh, old marble effect. All right, get some of that on there. And then I'm gonna come right up here and I'm just gonna drop some of this color in here. All right. Now, I, another thing I recommend is to constantly go back and get a fresh roll. Get a fresh roll on your knife. <laughs> fresh roll, <laughs> sounds good. Uh, it, just, it just helps, you know, you know. It does help when you uh, when you get fresh paint on there. It just makes uh, makes the day go easier. Get some more white in there. I need some marbles. Marble look. All right. I want to leave some of the base color in there because put some of this right there. It'll just help with a lot of stuff. I'm just getting more fresh rolls. <laughs> fresh rolls. I could go for a cheesesteak right now. Um, let's put some there. Let's put a little bump right there. <laughs> and I'm telling you, you could be having a bad day. You could be having a bad day, and this is going to work. This is going to fix your day. I'm just trying to plan real quick here. I want this guy to go this way, and I got I got some uh, I got some plans up my sleeve here. Okay. Little bump there. Look at this. We got one here too. Man, this guy's all over the place. <clears throat> all right. All right, here we go. Now, before we go any shadows in here, I'm gonna take some yellow ochre into the mix. Yellow ochre. I just put it right on top. You could do without the sound effects. A little bit of white. Marble it. And just for the heck of it, I'm just going to say that, you know, light is definitely coming this way for right now. All right, I just want to drop some of this color in. Not too much, just getting more of that color. Just want to get it in there, you know. Get it in the mix. All right, maybe this guy goes like this. All right. All right, before I, go, uh, before I go too far, I want to get a shadow color in there. Shadow color, so let me try this. I'm gonna take the, uh, the base color and see what that does. I'm gonna put some white in it and a little bit of blue. A little bit of blue. Uh, there's already some black, I think, in there. I'm gonna put a little bit more to maybe gray it. And I'm gonna put, believe it or not, a touch of brown in there because I don't know what it does, but it does something. All right, a little bit of brown, more white. All right, something like that. Let's see what this does. Let's see what this does here. All right, I want to get more white and maybe a t touch more blue. Mm-hmm, let's see what this does. I want it to show up good on the camera. I want it to show up nicely on the camera. So I need more white, more white and blue. And this is where you just, you know, experiment, experiment. 
This is all you. All right. Nice little highlight there, and then look, we can go over here. See this? Hmm. Drop some of that shadow color there. I'm just picking up more color, is all that I'm doing. All right, drop this in there. Like that. I'm actually going to go, I'm gonna scrape that off real quick, see? Shroom. I just wanted that out of my life, out of my life. And then I can come up here and then I can go. I can hold the knife all kinds of different ways. You see, it doesn't really matter how you hold it. All right, I need a lot more white and some more blue here. I really have to try to pull this effect off. <laughs> All right. So watch this. I just want to put some there, there, up here, drop some there. See? And just play around with this stuff is all you got to do. And make sure that the base color shows through. It's so important. Just a nice blue color, a light blue color is good. It's very good. You can just drop it in wherever. And don't be afraid to use, you know, the knife with different angles and things, you know, use it different ways. Experimentation is good. Now, so we have that right about there, right? So check, check this out. I'm going to move our pile of white out of the way. Looking at the time. Okay, just trying to make room, moving that stuff out of the way a little bit. I'm going to take some, uh, let's get some black over here. Um, yeah, I'm going to get some black, just ivory black. All right, there's a little bit of blue in there, whatever. It's okay. It's not the darkest color, and that's fine. And I do want to get a little bit of the Van Dyke brown in there. Maybe a little bit of this color, whatever. Just a little dark color. All right, and I want to do this real quick. <clears throat> Excuse me. I want to come right over here. And I want to put in a little bit of something to indicate that maybe this is closer. So I'm just going to drop some of this in like that. All right. Now, don't let that bother you. Don't let it bother you. It's gonna come like this, choo, choo, choo. all right, like that. All right. All right. Now I'm gonna drop in. I'm gonna take just moving that dark out of the way, and I'm gonna get a little bit more white, I think, and I'm gonna go to our pile of uh, shadow color, a little bit more blue, maybe. All right. Get some of that, and I'm gonna drop a little bit back over top like this all right something like that and I think I'm gonna even do this put some right there too for whatever purpose now clearing clear me a spot wipe the old knife off now let's go here and take some make sure I'm recording <laughs> I'm scooping up white paint right there and what the heck I'm just gonna put it right here and I'm gonna get I think I'm gonna just go with the yellow ochre at this point we'll see how that works all right now with all that blue going around just you know I guess be careful you know that you don't have green highlights pulling that nice and flat all right get some on there and then I want to put highlights on here here we go All right, come down here, get a fresh, uh, get a fresh roll. <laughs> and I'm just gonna hit the outside like this, see? Choom. Now, you wanna uh, make sure that, you know, your other colors show through, I think. That's, that's what I'm doing. And you don't wanna eat it all up with highlight, all right? Put some back here, see? Choom. Something like this, all right? I'm gonna get a little bit more white in there, just, all right, and I think, let's try, uh, let's see what this Indian yellow does for our life. That's a nice bright color. All right, and then maybe just a touch of it here and there, right? Something like this. 
wherever, all right? And then let's do this. I'm gonna break up this line here, see? I'm gonna get around, something like that. And I just keep getting more color here. I need more white. Let's do, let's put a little notch right there, like this. You know, just to break up the line. It's, it's, a, it's a good idea to do. All right, let's do that there as well. And then we need to put some here. Something like that. Maybe they, use, they touch there. You know, you could just mess around all day with this thing. All right, I'm gonna set the palette Ugh, out of the way. Now, something uh, something that you could do is you could take your you could take your knife um, and just carefully you can pull like a few little edges over. See, see that right there? Just take it and just kind of pull it. You know, you don't have to, but it just kind of does something for it. All right, and uh, that little trick right there, that's compliments of uh, Steve. Compliments of Steve Ross. He, Steve showed me that. <laughs> he actually showed me that in uh, Colorado, when we were down in Colorado, visiting uh, old Willie down there. If you're watching Willie, I hope you're doing well, bud. See, I'm just pulling the edges over. It just, I don't know, maybe brings it together or something. You know, it does something like that. Now let's just do this real quick. Um, Grab your knife and get a little bit of uh, white paint on the knife. Let's just see here what a little bit of white does. Just straight white paint, just a little bit. Man, this is a this is a very very thick mountain texture wise. Very thick. Very very thick. <laughs> oh man. Okay. Something like that. A little bit of the dark color to put back here like this. I mean, for real, we could just go all day long, you know, doing this, okay? I mean, we, we could just go all day. I'm not going to go all day long. Put a little dark up there, maybe, just to show something. Contrast, I don't know. I don't know what I'm showing. Okay, I'm gonna set the knife down and I'm gonna grab our trusty, trusty two inch brush here. But you know, before we do that, if you really want to, you know, you could actually take um, ye like yellow ochre and like a, what do you call it? Yellow ochre and uh, dark sienna. Yellow ochre and dark sienna, it's just a nice yellow color. And you could put some color into this darn mountain. I took it out, I think. I took the color out <laughs> by doing all that, the white and stuff. See, you just drop some of the color back in here and just bring it to life quickly. Very quickly. And just go around, see, like this. You know, something like that right about there. Right about there. Not gonna go all day, keep saying that. And here we go, <laughs> working on that mountain again. <laughs> it's fun, guys, this is fun. So this will fix everything. All right. Okay. Here we go. Two inch brush. Let's just, uh, let's diffuse this guy real quick. Got to keep an eye on the time there. Let's diffuse it so we can do a couple things. I personally like to do this, you know, the tap. Leave the white area. The white is so important because it's going to act as like a layer. All right. These can be little trees in the background that are way distant. Okay. Now I'm going to go over here. And let me just stay still, canvas. All right, let's go over here. I'm going to leave all these little areas like this. Try not to, you know, blend them all together. Like this. Or you could do circles if you want to, little babies. Little babies. Move it out of my life. It was a hair. All right, something like this. Okay. Now we're gonna, um, yeah, gotta do up here. Can't forget here. All right, now we can do little circles here because 
Got a little of the brown on there. All right, so I like to keep these things uh, nice and basic um, is what I like to do. I like to keep paintings nice and simple. So I'm gonna just, uh, I'm gonna do just that for the rest of the painting. Um, let's put in some, I kept this white area right here because I wanted to have a separator for some uh, background trees. All right, so what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna take, get this one inch brush. I have some of the liquid white on there. I'm going to take uh, a little bit of mountain mixture here into this pile of, uh, I don't know, it's like this uh, shadow color for the mountain, like that nice blue color. A little bit of mountain mixture in there. It's a very, very, very light color. Very light color, a little bit more. A little bit more. We want it to be just a very dull color to indicate, you know, something really, really, really far away. So I'm gonna tap, 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 tap into there. And then I'm gonna start right about here. And I'm just gonna, see? Just, I'm just kind of just tapping into the canvas. That's it. All right. And I'm gonna start over here, put some of these little jammies here. And I'm gonna leave some of this white area in because that's important. So I'm gonna drop it down maybe like this, up and down, just, you know, and so it's not a straight line. Put some there. You see that little white area right there? It's important. Very important. Put a couple little treetops here and there. See? Maybe some here. All right. Set that down. I'm going to grab I'm going to grab this 2 inch here and see if this will do the trick. I want to mist it out. I'm going to have to hold the canvas here, I think. I just want to soften the bottom here. You should probably use a, uh, a clean brush to do this. As a matter of fact, let me get um, a clean brush. It'll make your life easier. So you can just tap it. You can do it just like this with the top. Da, 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 da. This will make a nice little misty effect for you. See? All right, you don't have to go crazy. Then you could lift it. This just kind of takes the little tap marks out of it and it works. All right, see, and you can do this if you want, go kind of back and forth, that'll help. All right. Okay. I'm gonna put, I wanna put another, uh, another layer in here. Yeah, it's tracking my face. Another layer. All right, so here we have that color. Let's get a little bit more of the, uh, let's get some mountain mixture here. Yeah. All right, let's get a little bit more of that. All right, and let's uh, scoop up some green. Let's get some green in there. Because when you do come closer, you want something, you know, you want the trees or whatever these are to be darker and have a little bit of color in them. And the closer you get, the darker they get and the more color that they have. All right. All right, tapping into the canvas. Tapping into the... <laughs> Woo, hello. Hello, hello. Um, I'm going to... Let's do this. I want to... I'm gonna do something a little bit different. I'm gonna just tap in like this. I'm gonna put some little tree tops here and there. And I'm gonna to try to leave some of that white area in, okay? I'm just tapping back into the color. No need to see my face. All right. See, it's a little there. And then I'm gonna put some stuff here. Hmm. These are my favorite. Uh, these are my favorite paintings. These are my favorites, for sure. You see, I'm just making random, you know, little tapping areas. That's all I'm doing. All right, something like that. <clears throat> and then uh, 
I think what I want to do is just have a little bigger area here, just so it's all not exactly under that other layer. All right. Okay. Let's go back to the little the little Mister brush, the little Mister two inch brush, and let me hold my camp my easel, boom, and just do the same thing. Look, let's just mystify here. It actually helps if you hold the brush like this. Just give it a little mist. Don't worry about the stuff on the bottom. This stuff here, don't worry about that. Just mist away. See? All right. Now, let's do the same thing. Let's lift it, lift it, lift it. All right. And you could do a little swirly if you want. Little swirly motions are always a good thing. All right. Keep wiping it on the paper towel, though. It gets the excess paint off. All right. Okay, so there we have something. We have something going there. Let me hang that brush back up. And all right, let's do... I'm going to grab a... I'm going to grab me a number three, number three fan brush, okay? Number three favorite fan brushes on the planet. And I'm going to get some color here. So I'll just put it right in the little pile that we have going there. So I'm going to take a scoop of this blue here, just scooping up a bunch of it. All right, blue and black. Let's get some black in there, blue and black. All right, and then ugh, green. That's a mess. Blue, black, green, and some uh, crimson. Nice dark color. Nice dark color. And I'm gonna see. I got this little light color here, so I can lighten it up a little bit too if I want. See, nice and easy. Nice and easy. All right. Blue, black, green, and crimson. Mix it up good. And uh, let's put some trees in. I love trees. All right, so I'm going to start over here, and I'm thinking about, I know I want one right, right about there. Put that little starter line in. Little starter line, and I'll put some downward trees here today on this side. Touch, push. See the mountain right there? No worries. No worries. A little, little bit more paint on there. See, touch. All right. I'm getting more paint on the, on the brush now. Then I can skip a spot, see? Skip, touch, push, see? Touch and push. Go downward, flip the corner. All right, you can always come back and add a little dark, all right, to your tree, see? Touch and push. And that's all there is to that one right there, all right? Now, I'm just getting some more paint on here. So we got to grow a few of these things together because it'll just make it look better. All right, so let's do this. Touch and push a few more. See, they could be sloppy. Doesn't matter. Does not matter. All right, and then I'm going to have one that kind of grows this way too. All right. It's always good to have one that's different. Just like me. I'm different. <laughs> And then you could little little guys here and there in the background, see? You could just put little whatevers. All right. All right, now, so maybe there's like a few bushes here, right? So I'm going to push upward, same color. Just, you know, get this color in here. Something like this for right now. You can't really see what's happening. But there's something there, okay? I need to get some more green. I'm going to get some more green into the mix here. And if you're doing this, I'm telling you, you should probably you know, maybe use your knife, all right? Because I'm, I mean, I'm getting, you know, dirt and all the other colors, and that's, I'm okay with it. But it'll be a better experience for you if you, if you mix with a knife, that's for sure. All right, I want to put a bigger tree in here, and I want it to be a, like an uppy tree. Uppy, uppy tree. So I want to put one right here, like this, a little slant on him. See, he grows right there. All right. And then let's touch, same thing, touch, push. Skip a spot, touch and push, see? I can skip this whole mountain right there, see that? Touch, 
push, see? Same thing again, I'm just getting more paint on. I can, I can skip the highlights a little bit there, see? Now I'm gonna eat up this little tree and that's all right. That is okay, see, touch and push. Go right down, into the dark, see that right there? All right, more green. More green. All right, and then I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put one right here. Little skinnier one, right? Uppy tree, touch and push. See, skip a lot of spots and, and it'll look good. And then down here, you, you know, it doesn't really matter. You just, you just kind of smash it in, all right? This is, uh, this is an easy painting, all right? And that's what I like focusing on, getting more blue into my green mix here. I like focusing on the easy paintings, okay? That's what I like doing. And they're fun. All right, so let's go over to the other side. And uh, you know what? I'm going to scoop up, watch this. I'm going to scoop some white, and I'm going to make a lighter color here, a lighter green. See that? Light green. Get a little mountain mixture in there. All right. That little black in there. Okay. All right. There we go. A little brown. Why not? I'm going to make some distant, uh, not real distant, but some trees that are a little bit further away, maybe. You know, maybe there's a little row of them, um, you know, somewhere back here, something like this. So you could just tap or you could slice them in, see? Or you can go like this. Hold the fan brush flat and just wiggle them. Wiggle them in, see? Something like this. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. And nope, the video is not speeding up. <laughs> I'm just, I'm speeding up. Make this one taller. Watch this. You know, and he could have a little uh, extra limbs on him, see? That's all. He's got a few extra trees on him. A few extra trees on him. <laughs> Listen to me talk. Or don't. Definitely maybe don't. Because <laughs> this tree has a few extra trees on him. That makes sense. No sense. Putting a few guys here. The uppy trees are my favorite uh, ones, for sure. All right, and then watch this. There's some rubbish back here, see? It goes right to there, and then there's a few little guys, that, little stragglers, something like that right there, see? Okay, okay. All right, now I'm gonna grab, uh, I'm gonna grab the knife here real quick, and I'm gonna mix up, look, I'm gonna take some blue, mountain mixture, and black. I'm gonna put it without the noise right there green, nice dark color, crimson, that's a lot of crimson, we'll figure out something, all right, mix it into that little, set the knife down right there, all right, I'm going to grab the fan brush here, all right, I'm just going to get some stuff on here, and I got two, I want to do this, I'm going to, it doesn't matter, look, it doesn't matter how you put the color in, just get it on there. All right, look, I'm just gonna go all the way here. Look, see that? Just get it on. I don't, I don't want you to be, I don't want you to be nervous, you know, when you're, when you're doing this. All right, I just want you to get the color on and then we'll work with it, okay? Get the color on and do not be scared. All right, I'm just putting dark color in. It's all that I'm doing here. All right, it doesn't matter. You can put it on with your hands if you'd like. Just wear a glove. If you do that, make sure that you wear a glove. All right, um, put some here. I'm just trying to figure out the, the lay of the land. I want some stuff to go this way. All right, something like that. A little river maybe, possibly. All right, I'm gonna put a few trees over here too. So I'm gonna get this dark color. All right, and a little bit of green in there, why not? A little bit of the green mix in there. It's a good tree color. Because I like pine trees. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's about right. Still recording. Good. I like pine trees for sure. So I'm gonna put one here. These are the uppy trees. This is the uh, this is the other side. Alright, this is these are the different trees. Alright, I'm just getting more dark color. On there, see? You just smash these things in, man. Smash them in. And that, and that's all there, I mean, really, that's all there really is to it. Push up, push, 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 see? Push, no effort, no effort. 
Okay, just reloading the brush. I'm just reloading. Let's do, look, this guy here. Look, he's all, he's all discombobulated. Look at this. Look, push, push, skip the cloud. See, see that? Skip them. All right. If you have a big chunk of paint on the canvas, just skip it. That's where there's a gap in the branch, you know? That's all. That's all there is. All right. <laughs> now, to compensate the crooked one, let's do this. Let's put a skinny one right there. All right, and we'll do touching and pushing. Same thing here, guys. The point is, for this is, this is a simple thing to do, simple painting, you know, and it'll satisfy you, massively satisfy you. I'm gonna set the palette down here real quickly, okay? Set my fan brush down real quickly. Everything's real quickly. I'm gonna take the one inch here, this one inch brush that I have, and I'm just nothing on it, but I wanna tap. I wanna tap into that dark color that I put down, all right, because it's gonna help me do a few things, and I'll show you why why I'm doing this in a minute. All right, that's gonna go like this. I'm just making like, almost like texture. I'm making pretty much that's what I'm doing, but there's no paint on the brush. Very little, whatever was left in it. I want those textured lines. All right, that's what I'm looking for. All right, I know that looks like garbage right now. Just give me a second. Okay. Make a little ridge back there. See, these can even be trees back here just by tapping. You know, it could be anything you want it to be. Okay, let's go. I'm gonna grab this two inch brush right here. And I'm gonna come in here, it's a clean brush. I'm gonna come in here and I am gonna pull some of this down. I'm gonna pull, pull, pull. Okay. Pull it, pull it, pull it. Now I'm just pulling some of these, yeah, these reflections down. All right, and I can come back in and put, you know, I can fix the land. I can do, you know, do all that stuff, you know, after I pull the reflections. It's always easier to pull the reflections first. So that's gonna come out like that. And then maybe there's probably gonna be a reflection here. You know, a little one, whatever. This guy goes like this. And then this is land here, which I can come back and fix that. So I'll pull that down carefully. See? Easy stuff, easy stuff, fun stuff, fun stuff. All right, now I'm gonna swat this back and forth. See, carefully, carefully. All right, we can put that back up now. Now I'm gonna take the two inch or the one inch brush here one inch brush uh, with the dark color. See, tap it into the dark color. All right, tap it in. And I'm just gonna fix uh, some of the land here, which is here. See, there was a little thing here and there was a thing here, a little bush or something, see? That's all, a little bush there, maybe something there. More dark color. And then I wanted to have a little something protruding, if that's a word, this way. He kind of comes out and that's all. All right. Something like that. Let me set this guy back ugh, back down and grab the, let's grab that two inch real quick again. And now I can just carefully pull, you know, this little reflection here or whatever. See? Because that'll be something. But I think I need more dark, right? Here, yeah, see, boom. Now that looks better. Pull a little bit of that there, kind of goes off on a slant like this. All right, we got that fixed there. All righty, all righty. Now, here is one of the fun things that I like to do. Just wipe the knife off. Here we go. Here we go. We're going to grab the knife. We're going to grab the knife. We got both cameras going. We're excited. All right. Here we go. I'm going to get some white. There's a little dirt. That's okay. Let's get a little blue in there. Yeah. Nice. Here we go. Pull it flat. Get a little baby roll on there. 
Now watch this. I'm going to do this first. Let's go back here and put a little, all right, little something going on back there, right? Now watch this. Get another roll here. We're going to come in like this. We're going to scoop around the corner. And that's where that little magic happens right there. A little bit more on the knife. And then we have this here. Look, this is going to go right off the canvas. All right. Little double, double roll. <laughs> White and blue and green. Just a bunch of dirt on here is all it is. Now watch this. See that little thing right there? Water goes in there. And this like really brings it to life. All right, now, well, I got this dirty color here. It's just white, blue, green, whatever. Watch this. Let's take uh, brown, sienna, whatever. I don't care. Black, blue, all the colors. doesn't matter. It gives me like a brownish, bluish something. All right. Just want to get a little bit in there. I do want to, uh, I do, want to do something here. I don't normally do this. I just want to, I do want to put a little indication of uh, some sticks and, you know, things here. All right. A little roll on the knife. It just helps. It just definitely helps. It helps. <laughs> okay. All right. I'm gonna wipe the. Uh, I'm gonna wipe the knife off real quick. And before we have some real fun here, where are we at? Oh yeah, we got to get moving. I'm going to straighten the top of my trees. You just take the knife. Look at this. And no paint. You just push, touch, push. It just really straightens them up. Straightens their life up. See, touch and push. All right, you make them as sharp as you want or as dull as you want, doesn't matter. Now, I'm gonna push here like this, little slices, see? And it just helps with like little, there's like little trees growing and stuff, see? All right, or you can just, you know, little things like this, see? All right. Stuff like that, or if you know, if you think like maybe there's, you know, something there. I mean, you could just do whatever. Do whatever you want. It is your life. It's your life. Okay. Now we need to get us a. Let me do this real quick. I'm just, I'm just clearing a spot on the palette here. Is all that I'm doing. Okay. Now get yourself a maybe a two inch or one inch. Get yourself a. Uh, I'm gonna get a one inch brush here. I'm gonna get me a clean one inch, and I'm gonna use I'm gonna use a little bit of the medium. I think just for the heck of it, a little bit of the, the you know the old the liquid bob. Ugh. Yeah, a little bit of liquid bob here coming right up. <laughs> so I got me a one inch brush. I got some medium on there. And I'm going to, I'm going to use yellow. Let me get some green and yellow. I'm going to take green and uh, scoop it right there. Yellow and a little bit of that medium. See that right there? It's a nice, beautiful color. It's going to turn greenish yellow. <laughs> All right. And the medium helps it stick. All right. We still recording? Yep. All right. Here we go. See that? Tapping into it. Tap, tap, tap. It's very important that you tap into it. All right. Urgh. Here we go. Nice little ridge on there. Lights coming this way. Bada bing, bada boom. Look at this. And here we go. Bringing it to life. We've got to leave plenty of dark in here though. See? Soft touches. I'm tapping it, but a soft touch. So I see in my world here, in my life, <laughs> I see this little ridge here. And then look at this, I see another hill here. I'm making these up, but I see them in my mind. All right, see I'm making the land. I'm just tapping back in, tapping back in is all that I'm doing. And I want this to come down like a little hill here. So watch this, it's gonna start high up here. It's gonna come downward like this. Plenty of dark in there, see? Plenty of dark, and it's gonna Pop this way. More paint. Right like this. Alright. A little higher here. Watch this. Right straight down. 
form your form your own land. It looks just like a thing coming down. More paint, more paint. Here we go. Watch this guy here. Boom. See? He just kind of pops it off right there. Get a little bit more yellow into the mix. Just getting some more paint on the brush. See? And then keep tapping into that paint. It's important. This guy goes like this. You see, he pops down like that. Now I'm gonna get some more green. Watch this, green into our mix, more green. And let's take a little mountain mixture, I don't know. It'll dull it, that's actually good. It's gonna dull the uh, color and it's gonna make it a little bit more believable because it's not so light on this side, I don't think. Yeah, this is nice and light, see? It's important to tap that brush into there though. See, and we're making our little textures. All right. And then same thing here. Let's let's might as well it's a hilly area. All right. Nice and dark on that side. There could be a few little highlights maybe, but you know, probably not too many. See? Nice and soft and subtle, subtle. Okay? Now, here we go. Let's put some here. We have a little, looks like a little thing going here too, see? Something right about there. You know, maybe a little doom, boom, boom, hill there, there. He's like in the quiet, he's kind of minding his own business. I'm gonna get a little, little bit of bright color here. Something like this. All right, a little bit more. Boom, let's, let's fix him right up. Yeah, because he goes like this. But it is nice. It's nice and dark in that alley right there. The alley, that corner, whatever it is. All right, here we go. Here we go. Where are we at? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. We gotta. We gotta get a move on it, guys. All right, here we go. Straight yellow on the one-inch brush. Straight yellow. Let's put a little. Let's put a bush in here. All right. Look at this. I'm just gonna pop an old signature, signature Bob Bush, little yellow ochre. You know, you could just do whatever, but. You know, this is what I'm saying here. Whatever. Or you could just do the pushing. See? You could do the pushing thing. Like this. You know. Do all kinds of little little things. You know what I mean? And if, what are we at there? 28. You know? Or if you don't like the bush, you can keep the top part. You could just go round. All right? You could scrape that out right there. You can scrape that right out of your life and you can easily just, you know, get some dark color and, and watch this, put some dark, dark color right back into there like that. Take your old handy dandy little one inch brush running out of time, huh? And put some dark back into your life. See, you could just do whatever you could do whatever, you know, make it like a little thingy there. I don't know what that is. It's something, you know, it's something for sure. You know, maybe just take a little Indian yellow to spice up your life a little bit. You know, make like a little layer, Indian yellow layer, see? I'm just saying, you can do whatever you want. You can do whatever you want in this life, you know what I mean? All right, but that seems to work right about there. What do you think? What are you thinking? What are you thinking? And I guess if you want to get technical real quick too, we only have about 30 seconds left. We can take some, some greens, you know, nice dark green, blue, black, if you want to. And you could do, yeah, you know, you could do this. Look, pop some of this uh, very subtly, subtly, you know, pop some color in here, see? Not much. Not too much. You know, maybe a little bit over here, a little quietness, see? But you see how free I'm doing it? Just not even, not even caring. <laughs> not even caring about anything here. All right, guys. Well, I think, uh, I think that's a wrap. I think I had fun doing it. I know I had fun doing it. I always say that I think I had fun doing it. But I have more than fun doing this, you know? I, I don't know how many times... Uh, I'm going to be able to continue to repeat myself as I'm, as I'm making these videos, but probably it's probably going to last a very long time because I think, uh, I think there's new people that are finding these videos. 
and I think it's really resonating with a lot of people and for that I'm happy um, because I don't get paid to do this but I do have a genuine uh, natural passion about helping somebody change their life so I really hope that it's you today I hope that you're the one who picks this up and or some form of creativity and and it helps you and it gets you on to the right path because that's what I'm here for and one of these days maybe my life will get a little bit easier because of these videos but I just have to put this out there if it doesn't I'm okay with it um, because my payment is the feeling that I'm getting and uh, I'm okay with that so you know everything that's gonna happen is what's supposed to happen everything that has happened was supposed to happen you know so I don't never uh, I don't never really think too much into that but uh, but I'm here and I'm happy and I'm happy to be alive and I'm, and I'm happy to wake up every day not wanting to harm myself or you know or take myself away it's uh that's another good payment for me you know I don't have to think about those things um, I do battle with uh, depression daily I don't let it get the best of me I I win over it it comes in the thoughts the different things come in and I battle it off and you're looking at it right here you just watched the video of how I do it and I hope you do the same thing you know for real very sincere very sincere a lot of times I joke I like to joke around um, I joke more when when bad thoughts try to enter my body and my mind I joke more it's my way of uh, coping with things and uh, it's normally when I'm painting too because that's how I beat things and I, I don't want to ramble I don't want to ramble I just I hope it I hope it was you today that saw this video for the first time and uh, it helps change you or helps change your future you can find me on Instagram at paintings by Justin Wozniak you can find me there on Facebook paintings by Justin I'm on there um, if you have any questions send me an email and that's about it I keep looking at this picture it's bringing me peace and I hope it brings you peace as well so I'd like to thank you for watching don't forget to like share and subscribe do all those things and it really uh, just do all those things do all those things and I will see you in the very next video I'm gonna go right now and I'm gonna stare at this painting for a little bit and I'm going to uh, just catch that feeling that I always tell you about because I already caught the feeling so I'm gonna sit here and I'm gonna enjoy that feeling now so I love you guys take care have a great day and just remember something you're not alone and it's never too late don't forget it. I'll see you soon.